Ah, can I do this? What am I doing here? Hi there and welcome back to another episode of 32 Bit Run and today we are going to be looking at the Palm M100 PDA. Alright, well, first of all, PDA stands for Personal Digital Assistant and that's what this wee thing here is. The Palm OS based ones were referred to as Palm Pilots. <laughs> Again, this Palm Pilot has failed to remind me. I believe this needs to be hot synced. What are you doing? I thought you meant hot sync it. You know how it is with us. Everything means kill. And no, the hot syncing doesn't refer to killing the device. It's actually a process of inserting the device into a cradle and pressing the hot sync button to then synchronize the files with those of your laptop or computer. So, as you can see, this one uses a cable, which has a serial port on the end, instead of a cradle, because this was a cheaper, more budget-friendly option. But a cradle for this specific model could be bought optionally, but it did come with this cable as standard. Most of the earlier Palm Pilots would connect via a serial port uh, on your personal computer, however, some of the computers such as G3 iMacs required USB because they lacked these serial ports here and used USB only. Um, a USB hot sync cable was also available for this Palm M100. This M100 was a more budget oriented model compared to its counterparts in Palm's range of PDAs. From standard, it comes with basic applications for note-taking, such as the memo pad. And you use a handwriting system known as Graffiti, which does take a wee bit of learning, but you can get the hang of it. As you can see, it brought up a letter. I don't know if it brought up the right letter, but it brought up a letter. And so on. So it came with it came with Notepad. It also came with um, games such as Solitaire, which I've shown you at the start of the video. However, that was only if you hot synced it with a computer. If you ran it independently, you probably wouldn't get the game unless you'd only done it for once. Now, um, LGR Lazy Game Reviews goes into a bit more depth when looking at the IBM Workpad, which is basically just the Palm Three, I think. Um, which is the same operating system in the same games, and I really don't think I need to be that in depth here, seeing as there's already countless reviews on it. Um, the hot sync feature using this button is great for when I type memos on my laptop. So when I press the button, it makes a noise, and then it hot syncs it like so. And as you can see there, it's transferring information and everything. And after that, um, it's great because I can read my uh, notes and everything on the Palm Pilot just by scrolling through it. Um, so, yeah. Let's see if I can get one of my notes up. Go to Memo Pad. Details. We'll delete that because that's the one I was making earlier.
So I was making a note about the Palm 5 because I'm going to be replacing the battery. And as you can see, I've got my note here. So even just by size comparison here, if carrying about a Palm Pilot, it's a lot easier than working about this 1996 Toshiba. And I, I'm sure a lot of you are going to say, why can't you just use your phone for the exact same purpose? And to that, I say the following. I like my smartphone. Right, shoot me. But sometimes it's quite nice just to disconnect from Google, the internet and the likes and use this Palm Pilot. It's simple but it does the job. So thank you for watching this episode of 32-Bit Rant. It's been very nice making this. It's been very nice doing this so far. And I hopefully see you all in the next one. So thank you and good night.